Hi everyone, so I want to do a products I have been loving lately video um, because there's been a lot more stuff that I have been trying out. I've been trying new things, um, especially like face wise. I'm normally really, really spectacle when it comes to like, um, you know, just not blush and everything and bronzers, but just like a skin fun no, foundations and stuff like that. I'm just very skeptical. I normally stick to the same routine with it. Um, but I'm definitely trying out new things. My skin's been really problematic lately, which is never fun, never a good thing. Um, I mean, before I say anything else, my I was blessed with very good skin. Um, but sometimes it just does break out, but this time it's just getting really irritating. And yeah, so I'm just taking really, really good care of it. I normally do, but I'm just trying to be like extra careful with it. Um, and I'm going to go makeup shopping um, very, very soon. So be expecting a haul. Um, I, just, I don't know, like, I'm really in the mood just, like, want to try out new makeup. I don't know why. I guess I'm being more adventurous. Um, and, yeah. So, before I start blabbering anymore, I'm just going to get started. So, um, yeah, I'll start off with makeup. So, I've been loving these two palettes. Um, this is the Sephora Colorful Artist Palette, and this is the Tease Palette. Not really sure where you can get this. My mom got it for me. Um, I really, really like these colors. They're really, really pigmented. Um, I don't even know. They're just beautiful. And it's like thin. So you can just like throw this in your purse if you want to do your eyeshadow in the car or something. Okay, and then well that would be dangerous, so don't do that. Never mind. Um, but if you're not driving, you can. Okay. Um, next is this. Hopefully you can't like see the mirror. Here I'll like cover it. This. Okay, so next is this one. And these are really, really small. Um, like you can see. Yeah, like they're really, really small. Um but they are, oh, I'm like set that right in the eyeshadow. I don't even know why I just did that. Um, the eyeshadows are really, really nice. They are very pigmented. They stay on. Um, my favorite is this one. It's a really, really nice um, cream, just neutral color, just to kind of um, like do as a highlight or you know just anything like that. It's really, really nice. I like it a lot. So I definitely have been loving these two. Okay, next is my beautiful brows thing. It's by also the brand Tees. And this is Blendable Shadows to customize your own brow color. So it looks like this. And it has like directions oh, if you don't know how to do it. And then it has wax, which I don't really use. It, the thought of having wax in my eyebrows just really grosses me out. Um, and then a darker color. And then this color. And then what I use mostly are the shapers. You can see it looks really nasty. Um, it's just like the brow color. Um, I use the natural arch one, and then there's the dramatic one. But, like, if you look at this, like, I feel like I'd look like a woolly mammoth if I use this. But, I mean, I don't know. Whatever floats your boat. So, um, yeah. I really like the natural one because I feel like it's bold, like, enough. But, yeah, that's just me. Um, okay. So, for an eyeliner that I've been really using a lot lately, this is um, NYX Eye and Eyebrow Pencil in number 912 Charcoal. It's just a really nice gray. Just, like, nothing really to it. But it's, it's like, the same color as my nails. Um, this is from Romel London. I think it's called Steel Gray, if I remember correctly. Okay, and then I've had the uh, Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express Mascara, the original one, with the blue right here. But this is the black drama one. And this is, like, the blackest mascara I think I've ever tried. And I absolutely love it. I love black mascara. I feel like it really just, like... Um, I've heard that navy blue mascara actually really makes your, like, eyes, like, really bright and everything. But this one just makes them pop. And, yeah, it's just really nice. I love it. So, I'm loving, loving that. Okay. So, a while back, um, don't know why I did. Um, I got this, like, NYC, just really, really cheap, um, eyelash curler. And I never really, like, done any research on eyelash curlers, so I did not know. Um... But yeah, it was just really cheap. It was like $3. And then I got it. And it would like curl your, it wouldn't curl your lashes. It would bend them. It would like make it straight out and then straight up like an L. Okay, I don't know why they did it, but I just threw it away. I was like, you know, I don't even use this. My, my lashes are naturally like curled up, which is pretty good. But I did some research of a great one that would be really good. I mean, I don't want to spend like a bunch of money on an eyelash curler. I just think that's kind of stupid. Um, this is the e.l.f. one that's for $1. Um, Dolce Candy 87 said that this was, like, a really, really good one. So, I was like, alright, I'm just gonna try it out. And, like, it's nice because, like, you can, like, put your finger in here in this little notch. And, like, just gives you really nice control. It makes them really just, like, nice. And it, curling your eyelashes definitely does, I see different at least, definitely makes me look more awake. 
Um, yeah, I don't know about you guys. Okay, so next thing I'm loving is these cream eyeshadows from Sephora. They're super, super tiny. Like, they're really tiny. Um, it was from a holiday collection. It comes with taupe, cream, turquoise, silver, and lavender. And um, I got these when I was in New York City. And, yeah, they were like 20 bucks. They were just a really good deal. And um, they're really, really nice. Except this cream one is really disappointing. It, like, just, when you put it on your eyelid, it, like, blotches all up and doesn't even, like, show up. It's kind of irritating. But on your, like, hand, it will. So, I don't know. I've tried with the primer and everything. But, yes, yeah, so I really, really like these. They're just really, really pretty. I like them. Yeah, so there's that. And then, also, this is a Sephora lip color. Um, in number G19. It's a really, really nice, just like everyday neutral color. And, um, I don't know, just like, it's really nice and I like it. Okay. So last two things on makeup. I actually got these last night. I'm wearing them today. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to wear foundation anymore. I'm going to just wear a tinted moisturizer. Um, I'll wear foundation when I just want more coverage. So, um, Yeah. So I was like, you know what, I really, really want the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer that everyone talks about. And I was like, it's $42, and honestly, like, I'm not willing to, I just don't want to spend that much on a Tinted Moisturizer. Like, I, I don't know, like, I normally would, but then it was because, like, I heard something about this. So I was like, you know, all right, I'll go, I'll spend the money on it, whatever, fine. Um, and yeah, but then I read something about this, so I was like, well, why not, you know, get the cheaper um, alternative. So this is um, Santa Kashuk. I never say that right, Kashuk. I know, it's really weird. Um, Radiant Tintin Moisturizer, SPF 15, which is always, 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 always good. Um, a Tintin Moisturizer that helps balance and protect your skin. And I got mine in fair because I'm, like, the color of Casper. Um, and there's a good amount in here. There's a really, really good um, amount in here. And, yeah. So you have to be careful, though, because, like, you don't want a whole lot to come out, but yeah, it's really, really good. I'm wearing it today. It definitely, like, isn't as much coverage as, like, I normally like, but I was like, you know, my skin's just bad, so I need to, like, do it. Um, I mean, my skin isn't terrible, but just, like, it's bad for me, so I just don't like it. And then, since I was wearing a tinted moisturizer, I wanted to, like, at least try to balance out some, like, redness. So I have very, like, peachy, um, red undertones, so I need to, like, take out some of that. Um, this is a L'Oreal Paris Secret Number no. 2 Studio Secrets Professional anti redness Primer Corrector and, well, it's name to be a one. Um, okay, so it's like green, and if you don't know, um, green overdoes red, so like if you have a red blemish or something, just take a little bit of your, like, green concealer and it'll cover it up. So this is like a primer, and it's a squirt, and like you squirt it, and then, or on your brush or whatever, and then you just rub it in, and it takes away, like, a good amount of the redness, um, like, especially, like, if you have, like, rosy cheeks and you don't like it, um, you just, like, use this, and it, like, works pretty good, I thought. Okay, but I've only used them for today, so we'll see how that goes. All right, so, I had heard that if you get, like, a, a stringent, I'm probably saying that really bad, but just, you know what I mean. Um, this is from the brand Up and Up. This is a Target brand. Um, get this to Target. Um, so pretty much what it is, it's just, like, an astringent, and I don't really know what's in it that is so great but this says it's clean clean steep feels refreshing pore power so i got this like 2.99 super cheap and i must say it really does help so get an astringent yeah get that and um works really nice so next thing i'm loving is my michael kors very hollywood perfume i got this for christmas and it smells so so good mm, it's like the perfect scent and i absolutely love it get sephora ulta uh, actually, if you have even, like, seen it at Target, so, yeah. Um, yeah, so, it looks like this, and it, it's, like, so amazing, and I have been wearing it every single day. Okay, so, hair care. I have really never got, well, not hair care, hair tools. Um, never, like, done this, like, in a favorites video. I'll get the box. Okay, so, I got this last night, and this is only, like, $24.99. Okay. So it's the Remington Style Professional um, Studio Ceramic Fast Easy Wrap and Go Girls. Okay, so whatever. Um, whatever this is. So it's one of these curling irons. I did my hair today with it. First time I ever used it, so I like, don't think it looks awesome. Um, this actually, like, um, if you want like that Taylor Swift kind of look, 
get something like this that has a bigger barrel and then goes tinier, what you do is you like take the piece of hair and you just take it and wrap it around the hair and um, it heats up pretty quickly and then like to turn it on you have to hold this like for a couple seconds you can turn it up turn it down a little screen right here and it has like a little rest thing so you can like rest it and um, it does come with a glove um, so you don't like burn your fingers since there isn't a clamp which um, is in my bathroom but um, I mean it doesn't like it's not like if you're holding it with the glove like on the barrel you will feel the heat but it's not going to burn you so don't like worry about that um what else can i say about this it's really really good this lasted all day so i really like it um heats up really 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 fast um you can turn i already said that you can turn it up or down and yeah so you can like also you know size if you don't want to like go around and down the full thing just wrap it around to here and you can get bigger curls or down here and get really tiny curls so i really really like this um only like 25 bucks that's like really really cheap um yeah so i love that okay so i got these for christmas and these are these conair hot rollers and my mom said I should wait and get Babeless ones because my straightener and my hair dryer are both from Babeless and it's like my favorite hair like tools company but I was like you know what I've heard a lot of really good things about these I was like I just want these so um yeah I got this oh and then also um I normally don't get like cheaper hair like tool products but it was just because I really want to show this in a video because I know that not everyone's going to go and get like Babeless stuff for their hair so I was like you know what I think that this would be really good um I'm going to get it so then but I'm so happy with it okay so I don't want to like take this all out I'm going to take the little pins okay so one thing I do have to say about these pins that you put all over the roller um is that it's really really good to get these instead of the clips I've heard um because it can leave creasing in the hair if you um, get the clamps. So I'm just saying maybe these would be a better, I just said that really weird, a um, better um, way to go. Okay, so it looks like this. It has all the rollers. It has eight of the little purple ones and four of the big black ones. And you're just like, I'm gonna do a tutorial, so don't worry. And then like when you're done wrapping in your hair, you just take this and like stick it in. So yeah. Um, that and when you turn it on this little red dot right here turns hot well hot red okay bright red um yeah just like that okay so that is everything i've been loving lately um yeah so i just want to show you this stuff i will be definitely like talking more and like keeping up to date on these things with you um yeah so hopefully you guys liked this if you want like more of these videos comment below and tell me so i always feel like I don't really know if some people really want to see these videos, but I don't know. Just let me know. And, yeah, so hopefully you guys are doing great. Um, I feel really bad about not being able to do so many videos lately just because of, like, studying midterms and everything. But um, after they're done in, like, in the beginning of February, I will be back on track, and it will be all good. So I love you guys so, so much, and I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye.